Good morning from Pastor Ken. How are you doing? Um, it's a T8 today in Hong Kong, so I hope everybody's being safe. Um, I'll be going to the hospital soon uh, because of Irene's schedule at work and different things she has to do at the church. Uh, I may delay it until Thursday the 15th, but I have to go by the 15th um, because... Uh, it has to be either tomorrow or Thursday, so we're thanking the Lord for some reason. Maybe he wants us to go on Thursday. Anyway, if we didn't have the T8, then I would be going to the hospital on Wednesday. But because of the T8, Irene has some things she has to do at the church, and she needs to work tomorrow to get some things done to help out the school and the teachers. So, yay God! We want to make sure and take care of the kids first. That's been our policy the last nine months. Let's help the kids and keep going. Um, and then on the 15th, I'll let you know more as I find out what's going to happen, surgery, all the tests, that kind of stuff. But it's no doubt. If you want to see pictures, I'll send you. But my maybe one third of my foot is gone uh, because of a bone infection that went literally from my little toe and it's going all the way up into my ankle now. So, the amazing thing that people don't understand is that they see the peace of God on me. And the peace of God is on me. And I want to talk about something that happened to me last night that will also help you to see another side of what happens to a person as they're purifying themselves, purifying their heart, to, to say, Lord, what are you doing to make me closer to you? Okay? So that's what I'll talk about now. Uh, last night I was watching a movie, and it showed a small town and a man that was like a Boy Scout. He tried to do everything good, tried to be helpful to his neighbor, uh, and the people around him just ridiculed and mocked him and thought he had something wrong with his mind. He was developmentally disabled. And it's very interesting because the last movie I watched a few months ago, they treated a diabetic person who got amputated, both of his legs amputated. They treated him like he was... Uh, an evil person that didn't care for society and needed to be punished and eventually killed. So is this guy through his comedies showing how we need to work a little better in our lives and not be so nasty and only be for the, the supposed good person who has their house and their car and everything right about their life. That community is where you watch out for everybody, even people who have severe trouble, and you try to help them as best as possible. You might not have be able to have somebody who's developmentally de uh, disabled live with you, especially if they're not your family member, but they can be your friend. I remember when I was a boy, there was a church league and the one church would always bring this retarded kid and he'd run around and he'd interrupt the game and he'd hit people and all of that. But he was part of the family. They didn't just throw him away and tell him to shut up. Very important thing to know. I'm gonna end my video right now and then I'll talk about God touching the sadness in my heart last night. See you soon.